very very come here anyways first thing you're gonna do is import your photo so command i or control i her eyes are very visible so if you have a picture with somewhat visible eyes that'll be better but do that we are going to scale this down these are my settings and then these are my advanced settings if you wanted them first thing you're going to do is decide which picture you want the eye to transition if that makes sense all right but and boom once you do that you're going to pre-compose it so shift command c move all attributes into new composition but you can also right click it and then press oh where is it what the heck? Oh, pre -compose. All right, once you have your pictures pre-composed, you're actually going to put the picture you're transitioning on top. So whatever eye is tunneling, I guess. After you do that, what you're gonna do is mask the eye. I'm gonna color code these. This shouldn't take too long since it's just an eye. Basically, you're gonna zoom in and then you're gonna press this pen tool or Q and then you're just gonna mask out her eye. This doesn't have to be too perfect, but make sure it doesn't like look too ugly at the same time. Try to like get the eyelashes to the shape of the eye, but you don't have to get like this bottom stuff right here. You can see the eyeball is masked out. After that, we're gonna go back to our regular view. All right, and then once you move the eye, it's going to move. But as you can see, there's still an eyeball right here. So basically what we have to do is delete this bottom one and then you're gonna duplicate this one again, which is the eyeball. We're actually going to go under max for the second layer and we're gonna invert it. And then basically, I don't know why there's two masks, but I'm gonna delete this one. Just invert both of these. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, boom. We have our eyeball and then we have our picture. After you do that, we're basically gonna start with the transition. First, you're gonna find the picture with the eyeball. So just the eyeball, boom. Press P on your keyboard, click the stopwatch, and then go for it like a few frames. And then we're gonna just like position this whichever way we want. And then we're going to keyframe this. I'm just going to do a speed graph. After that, you're gonna easy ease them. So what you're gonna do is highlight over both of them, right click, and then keyframe assistant easy ease click this and then you're just going to do a graph like this now if your graph looks like this right here just click that and then press speed graph but if you want it to go faster of course make this tighter all right that should be good i'm just gonna make a beat right here so i know when it like slides down so do that just click that and then after you're done with that we're gonna actually put this under our picture so then it like slides in the eye yeah just like that make both of these 3d actually make all of your layers 3d basically you're going to duplicate the picture so it should be the top one for, by now duplicate it like six times or five times one two three four five to make a new null layer so go under here over layer new null object and i put this on top i'm also going to color code this one too i'm going to make it blue Anyways, what we're gonna do after this is we're basically going to make this 3D as well. And then all of these right here, we're going to link them to the null. Before we connect all the pictures to the null layer, first we have to make it like a 3D tunnel. Now, I don't know if you know what 3D tunnels look like, but this is basically like a 3D tunnel, but with an eyeball. What we're gonna do is go to active camera, and then we're gonna go to left. Starting from the layers that are duplicated, we have to move them back, so. We're gonna move them just like that. And then as you can see, it like scales out a little bit. And then you can zoom out if you have to. And then we're gonna click this one. I'm gonna push it back and gonna click this one. I'm gonna push it back. Try to get them to the same like, you know, width or whatever. Take this one, push it, oh, yeah, push it back. If we go back to custom view one, we can see it like tunnels like this. But anyways, we're gonna go back to active camera. Active camera. And then we're gonna take all of this, hold shift, click the bottom layer. And then we're gonna take this like swirly thing and connect it to the null. And I think we're going to start on her eye. So we're gonna kind of like zoom in on her eye. So scale, you just have to press S. And then position, press P. And then we're just gonna like position it right here. Once your eyeball goes up, we can see the picture. We're gonna scale this back out. Hold up, hold up. All right, set a stopwatch for scale, press position, 
and then you're gonna press U to bring up all your keyframes and then we're gonna go past our marker basically we have to position this inwards if that makes sense so we're gonna kind of go into her eyeball it's very um, weird but we should be like going inside of it with position all right and then we should get something like this but as you can see it kind of like clips like it goes through this thing so you basically have to like fix the position kind of and then it should fix the problem this graph is going to be a little bit different because we have this one in the center so uh, we're gonna have to do some i'll show you how to do it we're gonna have to do something like this boom so then it looks like a regular graph i know it looks a little weird but once we add motion blur to all of these it should look something like this all right that's cool if we want to add rotation we are going to change the anchor point really quick so we kind of want to center it like where the eyeball would be if that makes sense basically we are aligning her eyeball with the point of this thing this blue like dot thing all right that should be good and then we're going to go back to fit and then we are going to change the rotation you might have to change the position too guys sorry about that okay we're also going to keep graph this rotation part i know sorry guys this is getting out of hand by now but yeah welcome to Jaden effects tutorials all right this should be good if this looks not good then i quit all right that's pretty decent last part sorry guys we're actually gonna like connect this to the no layer i'm done now for real as you can see it disappeared it might disappear we basically have to bring her back from the dead and we're gonna have to change the position we're gonna go back to left which is the active camera and we're gonna move this all the way like back here so basically it's a part of the 3d tunnel but then once we go back to our thing it should be here but it's like looking all weird so we have to scale this out and then we can change the rotation of the picture itself i'm basically done that is the end of this tutorial i'm just gonna add some motion tile to this first part motion tile all right we're just gonna do 200 and then we're gonna do 200 and then we're gonna do mirror edges and yeah you can add extra effects if you want but i'm done with this video honestly <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this week's video and yeah i will see you guys in the next video love you stay safe bye